I ran NCSY in Long Island for nine years, and it was not unusual that I would meet a teenager, 14, 15 years old, and he'd say to me, I'm an atheist. I know that there is no God. So I'd say, that's interesting. Do you ever study Greek philosophy? No. Medieval philosophy? No. Modern philosophy? No. Lav, do you ever study Jewish philosophy? No. Do you ever study Talmud? No. Did you ever read the Bible? What do you mean, the whole thing? I said, then you'll forgive me. You're not an atheist. You're an idiot. I said, you're not the first person to ask the question. There is some evidence out there. Why don't you look at the evidence and try to examine it? In Judaism, what do we say? We want you to ask questions, examine, and search. When a child is young, what do we tell them? Learn the Manish Tana. Learn how to ask questions. When you ask a rabbi a question, he says, no, 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 ask better. Because you could also ask like this and like this and like this. We give much more information. We tell people to ask and to study and to seek and not just to accept. You examine, the more you ask a question, the easier it is to arrive at the truth. That's a unique Jewish experience. It's got to make sense. It's got to fit in. As Rabbi Noach Weinberg from Asia Torah said, we Jews have been accused of everything over the past few thousand years. The only thing no one's ever called us was stupid. And we've been around for so long, it's not because we just tell people to have faith. We confuse ignorance with Amuna. That's not what Amuna is. Amuna takes a tremendous amount of understanding and depth and intellectual examination.